It's Wednesday, February 1st, 2012. I'm Bridget Carey on CNET.com and it's time to get loaded. Let's start with some Hollywood studio drama. Redbox, the company behind the Red movie rental vending machines, has not renewed its deal with Warner Brothers. That's because a few weeks ago, Warner Brothers dropped a bomb on video rental services like Redbox, Blockbuster, and Netflix saying Warner movies would not be available for rent until 56 days after a DVD was in stores. Their goal was to increase sales of movies, but Redbox said they would not agree to the deal. Redbox will find another way of getting Warner Brothers movies into their kiosks. They just won't get the movies wholesale directly from Warner Brothers. It seems new design details for BlackBerry's upcoming smartphone have been leaked. Called the BlackBerry London, this thin touch screen is designed by Porsche or Porsche, if you want to sound rich about it. It abandons the traditional keyboard, is in all black with rounded edges, and is the first and only BlackBerry 10 device. It's supposed to have 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, 1 gig of RAM, 15 gigs of storage, and an 8 megapixel camera. Could YouTube become a subscription video service? It's a question on the minds of YouTube executives. At the Dive Into Media conference Tuesday, YouTube CEO Salar Kamangar said the company is thinking about offering content providers a way to create their own subscription-based video channels. One such example would be to pay to get a yoga instructor's videos on a subscription channel. But this was just early speculation. YouTube had no such product to announce. Sony is getting a new CEO. The Japanese company announced that after seven years, Howard Stringer is out and in April will be replaced by Kazuo Hirai, who led Sony's PlayStation gaming business and more recently oversaw the entire electronics group product line of games, laptops, TVs, and tablets. And over at the PlayStation competitor, Xbox Live just got a few new video apps in the live marketplace. Crackle, a free movie and TV streaming service from Sony, and there's also Cinema Now, a way to buy or rent movies and television shows, although there are a few free video choices. It's all part of Xbox's growing mission to become your main entertainment hub. Are you an app hoarder? Are there apps in your life that go completely ignored after you download? A survey from the Pew Research Center says most of us are quickly bored with our apps and rarely use them. 68% of us only open five or fewer apps a week. The novelty for most of our apps wears off and we eventually delete about 90% of what we download. But when there is an app we use, we use it most of the time, like Facebook, Twitter, or that CNET news app you just can't seem to put down. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Bridget Carey for CNET.com and you've just been loaded.